Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 96 and today we are going to look into the clone method and uh, in copying only we have one clone method only that's it so let's get started so before we start coding I'm assuming that you might be having a jQuery file with you in your project and you have referenced that into your head section next you have written some jQuery code to execute our jQuery instruction all right and now let's have a look at the markup to in, order, in order to understand this case all right so i got one h2 tag pretty simple i got one div tag and within that i have two paragraph tags and one has the class blue so the class blue means i'm simply giving an border to that element of ipx and the color as blue so let's preview that all right so you can see one element is blue of you know the and the pixel i mean the width is five i mean the border is five pixel so this is pretty cool now we are going to use the clone so the clone means it creates the copy the deep copy of a matching element so over here i'm saying that i want to create a copy of this element so i'm using a clone for that so you can see over here i have created a copy you know over here so basically i'm sorry uh I forgot this part. So basically what I'm saying over here, hey jQuery, go across the DOM, find all the paragraph who has class B, so which is right here. Then you make a clone of it, okay? And now I want you to prepend. You know, prepend means it is going to, you know, add uh, this, uh, you know, clone element before H2. I mean, it is going to add right here. Over here it is going to add it is not going to add here it is going to add here okay so this is the space where it is going to add so let's uh, preview this I'm sorry I had that already right all I need to do is refresh so one more copy of this will be added at the top okay so you get it right so I hope you got the idea so once again let's understand this what I said over here is that I am looking for all the paragraph right who has the class as blue which is right here and then make a copy of that using a clone function and then do the prepend if you want we can do append to as well All right so it's gonna have the same effect but now the you know this paragraph will be not added here it will be added right here okay so let's see that alright so I'm gonna refresh now and you can see after this this element has been added and if I do the fire bug and check the markup so we'll get an idea that this is a proper append to okay so uh, so once again uh, thank you for listening to me and thank you for your time on this up next we're gonna start with the style and there is a lot more to that so I hope to see you there